All right, hello fifth grade. Uh, today is day eight of our video lessons. I hope you're all doing well. Um, before we begin, I just want to go over again how to log into your studies weekly. Again, you have a test. Um, some of you have not completed your test, so please do so. All right. So this is how it should look like in your in in your computer. Um, our example student is Bob Builder. So if your name is Angel Yanes. Your username is A Y A N E S 323. And then the password is the same password you use for Freckle. Okay. Next, you go ahead and click on fifth grade science. You scroll down, not this one, that's week one. We're not on week one. You scroll down to um, this one. As you can see, I still have it left open, I have not closed it yet. Please take it as soon as possible. Please take your test, okay? You just go here, you take it, and then you have your questions, all right? Feel free to take, um, to use your notes, all right? Please, 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 please take your test, okay? Grades are due next week. If you have not completed your test, you're gonna get a zero and your grades will, will go down by a lot. So parents and students, please be sure that you're completing your test, okay? Um, exit tickets, exit tickets, they are in the description of the YouTube videos, okay? So let me just pull it up really quick. They are in your description of your videos. So this is uh, yesterday, fifth grade day seven. You go down to your description right here and you click on exit ticket, okay? Today, you're only the only thing you're gonna have is an exit ticket, and this is how it's gonna look like. It should say fifth grade exit ticket M three L seven. Okay, you're gonna choose your name, and then submit it. Thank you to those of you who have been submitting it, um, who have been submitting it uh, consistently. Okay. All right. So now let's go ahead and get started with our warm up. Go ahead and pause the video and answer it and for number two i'll just read it because i know it can, it's a little bit messy it reads while the lupe traveled a total of distance a total distance of 200 miles on monday she traveled 90 miles on tuesday she traveled 30 miles she traveled the rest on wednesday how much did she travel on wednesday all right so go ahead and pause the video and answer it all right, hopefully you were able to answer the question. Let's start off with number one. Number one says one whole minus one over three. Okay, a similar problem that we did from yesterday. Um, so again, same thing, let's go ahead and draw it, right? I have one whole minus one third. One, two, only one of them is colored in. Now, for this box right here, how many rows am I going to have to add? Three. One, two, three. Now, for this one, I don't have a denominator, so I just leave it like that. I leave it blank. I don't do anything to it. And now, if you notice, I have, and you know, let me do it in a different color because you can't really see the rows. Here we go. There you go, yeah. So now let's go ahead and see how many rows I have. I have one, two, three, three total pieces. How many of them are shaded in? All of them. What about for this one? I have one, two, three total pieces. That one didn't change. One of them is shaded in. So my answer is three minus one, two over three. Okay. Hopefully this isn't too hard. Hopefully you got some practice on it yesterday. All right. Now let's go ahead and do this word problem. So, while the Lupe traveled a total distance of 200 miles, on Monday she traveled 90 miles, on Tuesday she traveled 30, and she traveled the rest on Wednesday. How much did she travel on Wednesday? All right, well this is a perfect opportunity for me to use a U, D, C, L model. Ah, you can't see it. All right, there you go. So you, do I understand the problem? Yeah, I have to figure out how much she traveled on Wednesday. That's what I need to solve for. All right, so I have that check. 
Make a plan. Um, I might have to use an order of operation of adding, maybe subtracting. Again, you're just drafting a plan, okay? C is where you actually saw for it. All right, so let us go ahead and draw it. She traveled the total distance, and I'm, I'm actually gonna just erase all of this really quick. She traveled a total distance of 200 miles. Total 200 miles. So you know what I'm gonna do? I think I wanna do a tape diagram. So that's the total distance, okay, 200 miles. This is 200 miles right here. On Monday, so I'm gonna do Monday in blue, she traveled 90 miles. This is Monday, and for Monday, she traveled 90 miles, okay? On Tuesday, she traveled 30 miles. So I'm gonna do that one in a uh, student. Do it in black. So Tuesday, she traveled 30 miles. Okay. And then she traveled the rest on Wednesday. All right. So this is Wednesday. And we don't know how much she traveled. We don't know how much she traveled on Wednesday. So what, what are we gonna have to do? What are we probably gonna have to do to solve for this one? Because we know Monday, we know our blue, we know Tuesday, we know the total distance she traveled. The total distance is 200. How can we just solve for this green part right here? I only want this green part because that is what my question is asking for. Hmm, how can I do that? I know, different ways we can do it, but one way is, well, if my total is 200, then I'm gonna need to take 200 and, take, and subtract that from my blue and from my black, right? Because I only want this part right here. I don't want the total, I have the total. I only want this green part. So this is how my equation is gonna look like. I have 200, oh, let's see it, I have 200 minus 90, minus 30, okay? What you can also do is because you're gonna have to subtract the blue and black anyways, you can just add them up and then you can subtract that from the 200, okay? So let's subtract 200 from 90 first. I, I only like subtracting numbers two at a time, right? So 200 minus 90, what's that? I'll do it on the side, zero. Can't do that, I need to borrow 10, one, and one. So 110 minus 30, and 110 minus 30, well, let's see, zero, 11 minus three, that is eight. So my answer is 80. So she traveled 80 miles on Wednesday, okay? Again, this is a little bit of a review. Uh, because it's going to be very important to today's lesson, okay? Today's lesson is just fractions, but with word problems, okay? Yeah, I know the previous lessons, they've been pretty easy because all we've been doing is just regular problems, okay? But now we're going to start doing word problems. And word problems, I'll be honest with you all, they can get a little bit, a little bit challenging, okay? But that's okay, because we're gonna be using a UDCL model, okay? We're gonna be drawing it, we're gonna be using tape diagrams. For word problems, it is very, very important that you draw and that you use UDCL models, okay? Very, very important. So here, you don't have this, but I'm just gonna hold it up to here. Go ahead and copy this down, pause the video, and copy this problem down. Okay, now I'm gonna read it aloud. George weeded one-fifth of the garden and Summer weeded some too. When they were finished, two-thirds of the garden still needed to be weeded. What fraction of the garden did Summer weed? Okay, weeded, I don't know if you, some of you have seen it. That's a machine that has, um, that has like two strings. It has like a ball. Not important, but just 
so you can visualize it it's kind of like a stick and then there's a ball and then there's like a string on the other side and then you press a button here and it goes really really fast and it cuts the grass right the weed oh that's what it means to weed weed just means cutting grass all right but this is our problem okay again please be sure that you're copying it down because i'm just going to leave it over here okay and, you, and you're not going to be able to see that all right well again a udcl model what do i need to solve for right here what's my u what fraction of the garden what fraction of the garden did summer weed okay that's what i need to solve for that is my u right here that is my u now let's make a plan i might have to subtract i might have to add that's my draft that's my d part next let's continue the plan okay the continue the c part is when you actually try and solve it all right so i'm really gonna have to organize my information okay here i don't want i shouldn't see numbers um when your problem i should see organization so george George weeded a fifth of the garden. One over five. One fifth. Summer. Well, guess what? We don't know what summer we did. That's what we need to solve for. So I'll put a question mark. When they were finished, two thirds of the garden still needed to be weeded. Okay. Now, be careful. This number here, two over three, does not tell me the total. It tells me that even after both of them weeded or cut the grass, there was still this much left, okay? So left, I'll put left over. Two thirds. Left over, two thirds, okay? So now I have my facts organized, right? Let's try and solve it now. Hmm. Well, the fractions are kind of throwing me off a bit. Let me just show you this way. What if, what if I had this? What if I said just five, George, we did five, and there was still two left over. And let's say that the total amount that they all cut was 10. How do we solve that? Well, George cut five. We don't know how much Summer cut. And the leftover that they still needed to was 2. And our total value was 10. So 5 plus some number plus 2 has to equal to 10. What does this number have to be? Well, 5 plus 2, that gives me 7 already. So 7 plus some number is equal to 10. And what does this number have to be? 3, exactly. 7 plus 3 will give me 10, so my question mark is 3. That's how, that's the procedure, okay? These are just numbers that um, that I chose just to make it simpler. So you can see the steps that we need to do because this problem is exactly like this problem, except this one we have fractions, okay? But it is the same procedure. It is the same steps. Let me show you. It might look confusing, but it's actually pretty simple. Uh, let me do this in the black marker. Because what we have is this right here. We have a hole, right? Let's say that this hole is, is the lawn that needs to be cut. Let's say that this black box is, is the, the grass, the lawn that's, that's being cut. George, he cut a fifth of it. So shade this in, he cut a fifth of it. Summer, do this in orange. We don't know how much he cut, but she cut some amount. Okay, I'll put a question mark. The leftover that still needed to be cut was, I'll do that in green, was two thirds. was two thirds. Now, this problem should look a little bit like our warm up problem number two, right? Except this time you might think 
Well, Mr. Yanis, on the warm-up question, you gave us a total. But for this one, you didn't give us a total. So how can we solve it? Well, with fractions, you can actually see the total. And the total is this black box, right? Let, for example, let's say that we have um, a thirds over here, right? If all of them are shaded in, that's 3 over 3 or 1 whole, correct? Well, what if we had... Um, let's say that we had 5 over 5. One, two, three, four, and all of them are shaded in. That is also one whole. All right, what if we had two pieces and two of them are shaded in? That is also one whole. Okay, well here, our total is one whole because all of them are supposed to be filled up. So we have one whole. One whole is my total. So even though the problem didn't tell us um, directly what my total is, we know that because all of it's going to have to be filled up, and if everything's filled up, then it is one whole, right? So our total, let me say that again, our total is one whole. And now hopefully, hopefully, um, you're starting to see how we can solve this problem, okay? George, he cut one-fifth. The leftover part was two-thirds, and our total is one whole. But I don't want the total. I, want, I don't want this blue. I don't want this green. I want the orange. How can I just get the orange? I don't want this blue. I don't want the green. I don't want the black box. I only want this orange right here. How can we solve for, what, for our orange? Well, yes, it is exactly like our warm-up question, okay? I'm just going to use this uh, whiteboard because we have our total, one whole, minus what George cut, one-fifth, minus the green part, right, two-thirds, and again, we don't, we're don't we doing, we're subtracting it because we don't want the blue. We don't want the green. We don't want the total. We just want this part. Okay, similar to our warm-up question where we didn't want the total. We just wanted um, one section of the box for Wednesday, remember? So now we have this equation. Now you're probably thinking, well, how are we going to subtract this? Well, let's just take it section by section, okay? Part by part. And let's go in order. Let's start off with this side, okay? 1 minus 1 over 5. Well, how do we solve our warm-up question? We drew a picture, right? 1, 2, oh, actually, hang on. I'm skipping steps. I have one hole, so everything is filled up. What about for this one, 1 over 5? One, two, three, four. One of them is filled in. For this box, how many piece, how many rows am I gonna have to add? Five. Let's do it in a different color. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. And remember, all of them are filled up. All of them are filled up. It's fully shaded, so it's five over five. And then what about this one? How many pieces do I have? Five. How many of them are shaded in? One. And remember, because I don't have a denominator, I didn't have to change this one at all. And now look, now I have same denominators, I can go ahead and subtract. Five minus one, four over five. But when I'm done, I am not done. Remember, I still need to subtract this two over three. So I'm just gonna divide it. So I'm just gonna, um, Do the rest of the work right here. I need to su still subtract 4 over 5 minus 2 over 3, but I'll go ahead and do that right here. 
And now, guess what? Now it's just like a regular, like any other regular subtraction problem that we've been working on. I draw a picture. One, two, three, four, five. Four of them are shaded in. One, two, three, four. And then I subtract that by two over thirds. Two over three. One, two. Two of them are shaded in. We cannot subtract them because they are not the same denominator. So let's go ahead and um, and switch the boxes. How many rows am I going to have to add here in this box? In this box, three. One, two, three. What about for this one? How many rows am I going to have to add? Five. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Now let's go ahead and count them up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So that's 15. How many of them are shaded in? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12. What about for this one? How many total pieces do I have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay. How many of them are shaded in? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All right. And now... Now I have same denominators, I can go ahead and subtract. 12 minus 10, 2 over 15. And this is my answer right here, okay? I don't, I don't have anything else to subtract, I'm done. This is my final answer, okay? So that means that Summer, Summer cut or weeded 2 15th, okay? That's how much she cut it, or she cut. All right, so again, just look at how much work we did, right? We have to take it step by step, all right? It's very, very important that you organize your information because a lot of the times what I see in your notebooks is I just see, um, but actually hang on, make sure you have this down, make sure you have all this copied down before I erase it. Um, Again, what I see in a lot of your notebooks is if we have a problem like this, I just start seeing numbers everywhere. One over five. I see this in your notebooks a lot of the times. Two over three, uh, minus one. And then I see some other numbers. And then I see some, I just see numbers everywhere. There is no organization. Um, there is no drawings. And it's, you're not going to get, you're most likely not going to get the correct answer if you do not organize all your information, okay? It's very, very important. Much like you um, organize your room or you clean your room or you clean your house. Same thing with math. You have to make sure that everything looks neat, everything is, is organized. Otherwise, it's going to get very, very confusing, okay? That is a skill, much like it's a skill to learn your multiplication tables, it's also a skill to organize your math information in a word problem, okay? So, let's go ahead and do another problem. Let's go ahead and do, let's go ahead and do this one actually. Here and again, um, pause the video and copy this one down. And you don't have to copy what's in parentheses. Just copy the question. Okay. Now, this one, this one actually is, is, it is a little bit more challenging. Even though we only have two numbers, you're going to see why um, there's a lot of steps to it. So, what's my you? Who sold more lemonade, Jim or Dwight? Okay, that's our you. Don't worry about the second part of the question. We'll answer that later. But for now, this is our U. Okay, that's what we need to solve for. Who sold more lemonade, Jim or Dwight? All right, well, now let's draft the plan. I'm probably going to have to um, add or subtract, right? Now let's continue the plan. And again, I need to organize. I need to organize my facts. All right. Jim sold three fourth gallon of lemonade. All right, so I'm gonna put Jim. He sold three over four gallons. Okay. 
Dwight sold some lemonade too. Oh, okay, but it doesn't tell me. Doesn't tell me how much he sold. It just told me he sold some. So put Dwight. I'll put a question mark. Together, so the total together they sold one hole and five twelfths. So I'll put total one hole and five twelfths. Okay. Well, now that I have my facts organized, I labeled everything. Let's go ahead and draw a picture or a tape diagram. I mean. Well, I know that the total, this whole pink box, is what? My total is one hole in five twelfths. Jim sold three fourths of it. So put um, three fourths. Dwight, well, I don't know how much he sold question mark around that so now this one looks like our warm-up question as well right I have a total but I don't want the total I only want this black part right here I don't want what's in blue I don't want what's in pink I only want this black part how can I solve for this black part yeah I can just subtract one whole and five twelfths minus three fourths. Again, same thing we were doing with our um, with our warm up question. Minus three fourths. Okay. Now. Now I have this one whole and five twelfths minus three over four. Now, one thing that is very, very important when dealing with fractions, and you've already probably picked up on this already, it's always, always, always important that your denominators are the same, okay? You cannot do anything. You cannot do anything with fractions unless your denominators are the same, okay? You cannot add them. You cannot subtract them, okay? You cannot even compare them sometimes unless your denominators are the same. So here, our denominators are not the same, okay? So we're gonna have to switch them. So I have one whole and five twelfths This is all filled up. And this has 12 pieces to it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, not one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Whoa. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, for
um, our boxes, right? For our pink boxes, how many rows am I going to have to add? Four. So let's go ahead and do that. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four rows. Okay? Same thing here, because remember, they are the same fraction. I needed to add it to both of them. One, two, three, four. All right. Now, what about for this blue box? How many rows am I going to have to add? 12, exactly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, oh man, eight. Ah. I'm going to have to make this thing bigger, okay? But it's still three fourths. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let me just count it to make sure, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. Oh man, okay. So we're gonna have to count all of these up, okay? But. I hope you're starting to notice, you know, how you can make this go a lot quicker, right? Right here we have 12, not 12. We had 12 total pieces, right? And then we cut four into it. So here I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So then I could just uh, skip count, right? 12, 24, 36, 48. Forty-eight pieces, right? What about here? I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twelve, twenty-four, thirty-six, forty-eight. And now let's count how many more shaded in. One, two, three, four, five, five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Okay. Now what about for here? Well, again, let's do the same trick. I have one, two, three, four, four, and then 12 rows. So if I have four rows and then 12, that's 12 times four, that is 48. Again, I'm just taking quick shortcuts because what you can do is you can definitely just count them one by one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But I want to just go a little bit quicker, okay? Because we've been having a lot of practice and hopefully you're noticing that I could just multiply one, two, three, four, these four here by the by the number of rows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 19, 11, 12. Four times 12, it's gonna give me 48. How many of them are shaded in? One, two, three. So three rows are shaded in by 12. Three times 12, that is 36. Okay, so let me go ahead and write this down here, what we have now. I have 48, 48, 20 over 48. And actually, let me do this in the correct color. I have 48 over 48. 20 over 48 and then 36 in blue now remember we're subtracting our paint from our blue so I can go ahead and add these two right because they are part of the same fraction it's just these two right here so let's add them up 48 plus 20 68 over 48 and now I can subtract right 36 over 48 now I can subtract so 68 minus 36 that'll give me um, 32 32 over 48 that is my answer right there 32 over 48 now hopefully 
this wasn't too hard but it just takes a long time and hopefully or also you are um just starting to pick up a few tricks right because right here i noticed that i had four rows one two three four and i cut it or i mean i added 12 more rows so if i have one two three four and then 12 of them going down that's four times 12 and then that that'll give me 48. same thing here one two three of these are shaded so three times a 12 will give me 36 okay so i did the same thing here and i did the same thing here okay and that's it that's it um Again, we're just dealing with word problems now with fractions. There are multiple ways you could have done it. For example, you could solve this one um, differently. And some of you might solve it differently, okay? You could solve this one that we did our first problem differently as well. Multiple ways to do it. But um, regardless, you should be getting the same answer, okay? Um, and a very, very important note. Remember, you need, your denominators need to be the same, okay? They need to be the same in order for you to add or subtract them. If they are not the same, go ahead and switch them so they are the same, okay? Again, for today's problem set, you might, it's going to take you a while, okay? But that's okay. You don't have a lot. I think you only have, um, you only have this one. Pages 112 and 111, only four problems, but they should take you, they should take you about 30 minutes, okay? They should take you at least 30 minutes to do it. If you're doing it in less time, um, hopefully you're not making a mistake. But as you can tell, we only did two problems right now, and that took us about 30 minutes. So if you have four, it's going to take you a little bit longer, all right? So that's it for math. Again, please make sure that you are drawing it. You're using a UDCL model. Um, for science today, you're going to have a test tomorrow on Thursday. Today is Wednesday. So you go to fifth grade. We are in the animal kingdom. All you're going to do is just uh, finish the crossword puzzle and play misspelled. Okay. So again, very simple science lesson today. All you're doing is just reading it. Um, answering the questions and um, completing these two things for review okay these are not mandatory you do not have to do these but it's a good way to review all right especially the crossword puzzle okay the misspell that just helps you with your spelling the crossword puzzle um, it really forces you to understand the vocabulary okay um, but that's it that's it for science okay you have a test tomorrow please be sure that you are reading it okay take notes if you need to um, for tomorrow's test, you're going to be able to use your notes as well. All right. But all right, that's it, everybody. Um, we'll, we will have our zoom meeting tomorrow, um, at one 30 and I hope to see you all there. Have a great day.